Hey everyone, welcome to another episode of Pony Farm One. This is number 266 for the week of June 23rd, 2019. I am Nemesis, and I am joined, as usual, by Alcatraz. I'm old now. Yeah, he's 30 now. I it's his birthday 30. today as we record. Yes. I'm an old man. Yeah, he's 30 now. He's upset about Give it. Give me apparently. my cane and get off my lawn. He's, he's upset about this. Huh? I don't want to be 30. He, I don't not, he feel... has not come to terms with the fact <laughs> no, that time marches on. <laughs> I don't feel like I should be 30. I don't feel old enough to be 30. Not 30. I'm still 25, I swear. <laughs> I swear. Let, let me just repeat 29 again. I'm not 30. I'm 29 too. Sure. Sure. Uh, sure. But yeah, other, other things, uh, I tried building a computer. It didn't go well because the motherboard apparently was shot. So I have to return oh. that and get a new one. And that delays things. So that's going to be fun. Because, yeah, I had to replace my computer because the old one started to die. Yeah. It's like, it's not fun when it all of a sudden just shuts off on you. Yep. That's never a fun one. Yeah. I got a new case for my computer. Yeah, I saw that. It's similar to the case I bought for my parents' computers. Yep, the Carbide 100R. Yep. The only difference Corsair. is yours has the window, theirs had the vent. Yep. But, uh, yeah, the other thing is, well, I guess the internet has the, the discourse of Final Fantasy oh, VII and Evangelion geez. is back. I so guess the it's discourse. the 90s again. It's the, the 90s again. <laughs> Final Fantasy. <laughs> We're talking about Final Fantasy VII and Evangelion. Yep. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Time... Is a circle. <laughs> That's why clocks are round. <laughs> yes. But anyway, we're not here to talk about that stuff. We're actually here to about talk about ponies and whatnot and related and things. related <laughs> ponies yeah, so and do that pony accessories. <laughs> we got a few. We got a handful of news to go, start things off with. We have a couple of discussion points to talk about, and we have some fan content. Just a little bit at the end. So we'll go ahead and get some uh, news. To, you know, start the things off. Like I said, if you want to follow along, go to pony411.libsyn.com slash show notes. It's spelled L-I-B-S-Y-N. Links will be there to give you more details about all the things we'll talk about. So let's get started with merchandise. Hasbro has revealed the SDCC exclusive through the year's Twilight Sparkle set. This is a G1 Twilight and a G4 Twilight Sparkle. Yep. And with a, like, pearlescent coating, a coat of paint, I believe. Shiny. It's a box set. I can't remember how much it costs. Oh, 20 bucks. 20 bucks. Which is quite a bit cheaper than the Transformers exclusive, <laughs> which I'm not going to get because, yeah, it's like, I don't really want another MP10. Thank you very much. Anyway, I already got it's one. It's interesting. <laughs> and augmented reality MLP books are available on Amazon. I believe we talked about these a long time yeah, ago. Yeah, it sounds familiar. But yeah, they're available. apparently finally out, actually out, and they have little stories, and, you know, you see the ponies doing stuff in real life, I guess. Stuff. Ponies in real life. Yeah. Except not as weird. That's a video series. Yes, I know. That's <laughs> what I'm saying. It's not as weird. <laughs> in comic book news, the iTunes has a preview of Spirit of the Force number two out. That is actually apparently coming pretty darn soon. In Equestria Girls news, uh, the How To Backstage short is now on YouTube. This is the one with Sunset and uh, technicians and stuff. Yep. She's nerding out over the, <laughs> the back end of things and not the front runners. Mm-hmm. And the next special has a title, title synopsis and two air dates. Two air dates? Yeah, that's a thing. We'll get to that. Yeah, this, the the uh, title, Sunset's Backstage Pass. This is actually the Star Swirl do-over book, but, well, different name. Cause that's not so w weird. Anyway, synopsis. The Star Swirl Music Festival is finally here. The main seven are going to get their glamping on. Sunset and Pinky are the most excited to see their favorite band perform. But when Equestrian Magic causes a Groundhog Day-inspired time loop to start, Sunset gets stuck reliving Festival Day 1 forever. Fun. Yep. And it's supposed to air July 27th in the U.S., but it's airing early in Mexico on tw June 29th. As next week, actually. Yeah. And apparently, also, there's a Spanish trailer that uh, someone posted on YouTube. And apparently, though, here's the thing. This uh, this will be airing in English on Mexico as well. There will be an English audio track. So there's going to be spoilers about and Basically, it's going to just be fully released. A month early. early one. Yeah. A month early, basically. Yep. The thing is, we will not be talking about it next week. We will be going ahead and following the U.S. airing just in case, but we will we go ahead and watch it early anyway. But anyway, we will not be talking about it just easier uh, scheduling wise for us. Yeah, well, not for various reasons because we also have that uh, Rainbow Road Trip thing next week. Yeah. And in Frederick's Magic News, Jim Miller tweeted out a send off for the show, a big long six page thing. If you want to go read that, which you probably should go ahead and uh, it's, think. it's 
it's a good one. Be a little bit sad for a bit. Yeah. Because <laughs> yes, uh, as of yesterday, yep. production 21st. has officially ended, completed. Yep, it is done. done. No more work is being done on the show. Yep. Now it's just we're just waiting for the show episodes to release. Yep. It's done. It's over. Mm. For them. The end is nay. For them, it's over. Yeah. For us, we still have to have... finish out the ride. Yeah. The ride will never end. <laughs> Gotta finish out this ride. And uh, several titles and synopses for the second half of the season have been revealed, although some of the titles apparently are not final. It's a weird situation. And Yeah. Like, it's kind of odd. Yeah, it the is. first one, That's a Laugh, which is this is the one that has the possible incorrect title. It's uh, interesting. I'm not sure what the real title will be, but we'll find out eventually, probably. But when Pinkie Pie seeks help from her old friend, the super silly cheese sandwich, in finding her life's purpose, she discovers that unimaginable has happened. Is he dead? <laughs> I don't think so, because they, they confirm he's back. Or Weird Al's back. For her to her voice. Could be like something weird. He but stopped doing parties. Oh, uh, that would be unimaginable. Yep. So he's dead. <laughs> Next At one. least on the inside. Yeah. And the next one is 246. Great. The school of friendship is starting a buckball team, and Baron Dash has to come to terms with the fact that she won't be coaching the team. Oh. Yep. It's going to be like Photoshop and such, I guess, because they're the best players. Or to someone else entirely. Or someone else entirely. Are they going to finally say, you can't coach it because you're already too busy doing everything else? Are they finally going to bring up this fact that you're really busy? You have a lot of things to do. No, because I'll call into attention to the fact that schools in itself is just one giant writing problem. <laughs> <laughs> that should not exist. Uh, uh, the next one, a trivial problem. Twilight's hopes of keeping her trivia trot winning streak alive are waylaid when she unexpectedly paired up with Pinkie Pie, who has never been to a trivia night before. Uh-oh. Twilight and Pinkie Pie in an episode together. It's been a while. Yeah. Well, some focus specifically, anyway. Twilight Pie Shippers rejoice. Uh-oh. <laughs> Tara's a bit of a strong Twilight Pie Shipper. What would that be a surprise? Hey, guess what? They're going to get together in this episode. Oh. <laughs> that would be a su- surprise. <laughs> that would be quite the surprise. <laughs> okay, next one is the Summer Sun Setback. Twilight is determined to make Celestia and Luna's last Summer Sun celebration memorable, but things start going horribly wrong. As they are off to do. Yeah. <laughs> Summer Sun Celebration is like a magnet for trouble. No wonder they took some time off that one time, because otherwise things don't make sense. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's Summer Sun Celebration again. This is the third time in the show, I believe. It's happening. Nine seasons, and we've only seen it three times now. I just assume that the rest of them happened, just we didn't see anything about it. No, the show is only <laughs> encompassing three years worth of time. Uh, but that complicates things. <laughs> but how how do you make room for like six hearth swarmings in three years? Shut up. <laughs> yeah, okay, and the final one. Uh, she talks to Angel. When Fluttershy and Angel Bunny's relationship hits the skids, Zakora gives them a potion to help them understand each other, which is like... I thought Fluttershy could already understand yeah, the animals. Yeah, that's the weird thing for me. It's like, that's that, that's the one that actually made me doubt. Is this list real? <laughs> yeah. I don't know. It's just, that's kind of weird. And it's like, who's going to voice Angel Bunny? Yes. If that's actually how it's going to go. Yeah, Sounds know. like it was, how it's going to go, but. I don't think so. So I'm wondering if it's one of those guests. I think they said something about some more guests or something in this season that we haven't seen before. So who knows? Yeah, who knows? We'll see how that goes, and uh, I guess we'll see synopses and stuff, and possible air dates for these in the future. Yeah. Yeah, I want to, I want to know, if we're getting synopses and stuff already, it means it won't be long, but who knows, because uh, usually it's a month and a half, two months before they come back, because we don't usually get a whole lot of time. <laughs> yeah. But this time they also did start later than they usually do, so who knows. We'll find out. We shall. And finally, Rainbow Road Trip has a promo out, which, yes, absolutely 100% confirms which the fact that it's in movie style. And, yes, this is, remember, this is a uh, done by Boulder Media, not by DHX. Oh, no, everything is horrible then. It's going to be absolutely horrible. Yeah. It's, it's going to be a wreck. Yeah, of course. <laughs> no, it, it, it's probably going to be fine. It is a 60-minute special. Yeah. Uh, yeah so feature it, length. Yeah, feature length. It is feature length. Uh, I thought people were apparently thought it was going to be 44 minutes. 
minute 60. It'll be a 90 minute time slot on Discovery Family. Yep, because you got to remember ads are a thing. Yeah, even that's six minutes of extra ads. Yeah. Other than the usual, but fine, I guess. I'm not going to be watching with ads. <laughs> <laughs> that's why our half hour shows are always 22 minutes long. Exactly. But that is the news. Uh, we'll go ahead and move on to discussion stuff, and we'll start off with the Equestria Girls short that came out on Sunday, because we're always behind on that because of timing, Yep, unfortunately. They always come out the day after we record. The only time we're going, actually, there will be, if they're still coming out at one point, there will be a time coming up <laughs> where we'll be able to actually yes. do two at once. Uh, our schedule does have a Sunday recording. But anyway, Trey, this one is, well, wake up. Well, Sons is asleep, and they're trying to wake her up, because she needs to get up, because they got to do stuff, because they're at the festival. Yep. And yeah, there's a choose your own adventure. So it's, it's a choose between Pinky, Applejack, or Dash's methods of waking Sunset up, all with their own pitfalls and whatnot. Yeah. Like Applejack says, hey, let's go work. <laughs> get up and work. Get that blood pumping. Yeah. And Dash says, let's do some yoga. And Sunset can't keep up, even though a lot of those poses are actually fairly simple. Yeah. I'm like, I can do that. <laughs> if I can do that, you can't, Sunset. I'd like to Come see on. you try. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I can do a lot of those. Some of those, yeah, I can't. But some of those, I definitely can. The ones that the other the other thing is like. switching between them that quickly because that was just starting to quickly just switch, switch, yeah. switch, switch, switch. It wasn't as quick. Try to quick. keep up. It didn't seem that quick, but especially when you've never done it before, you don't actually know the pose. I don't know. I just think yoga is probably harder than it looks. I've done a little bit of it before. It's actually not too difficult. Either of course, way, if you have a teacher who just doesn't just assumes, you know, but. It reminds me of the joke, purposely misposing yourself in yoga just so the teacher has to re- re-correct you just so you can get some form of human contact. Oh, jeez. <laughs> oh, no. And the other one is Uncle Pinky, who's like, hey, let's just eat a whole bunch of donuts so you get sugar. That is a horrible idea. <laughs> and then, yep, they get pretty on, they're uh, got a sugar high, and then they crash, and then on top of crashing, Sunset gets a s- stomach ache. Yep. Because that's what happens. And that's what happens. Yeah, so those are, that's a short. It's uh, yeah, it's another choose your adventure own ending thing. They're fine. They're fine. I mean, I'm not like woo, but yeah. <laughs> you could just say you're uh, not doing any cartwheels. That's your thing. <laughs> that's your stupid. God, thing. I haven't I haven't <laughs> used that line in ages. Good, because you shouldn't be. And yeah, that's a it's a it's it's simple. It's okay. It's got a couple funny bits here and there. You got the thick like, sunset, that's losing it, and the pinky ending. But yeah, it's it's fine. And I'd like to talk about the manga that came out, but T Fall just hasn't, hasn't sent shipped it. To it. it. Yes, I don't know if we're stuck in the back order or what. Yep, I <laughs> pre-ordered it back in March, and it's not here. Yes, yeah, so I don't know what's going on there. Uh, hopefully, we'll be able to talk about that soon. But until then, uh, yeah. Seems interesting. Yeah. Seeing little bits of it pop up here and there. I like to read it. Anyway, uh, of course, the other bit of discussion is the new episode. Yep, uh, the new one uh, called Between Dark and Dawn. So the quick synopsis. The uh, royal sisters start sticking their noses in everyone's business because they're bored. The main six suggest going on a vacation. They do so and find out that they don't really uh, share the same interests often. The main six take over but then find out, hey, you probably should delegate instead of trying to do everything yourself because otherwise it's madness. And that's the episode. Yeah. Overall. Also, the, main, the royal sisters learn to get along again. Yep. Yeah. I like this one a lot, actually. It was really pretty fun. Uh, it was written by Gail Simone, who's a comic writer, as many people were. So that's kind of a new thing. Yep. Yeah, it has a new song as well. That's oh a, yes, new song. A few episodes since that happened. But yeah, it's it's actually pretty kind of fun. It's you know we get the royal sisters doing their thing. I guess being sisters, uh, still kind of again acting like sisters in the sense that they're well sniping at each other and don't always get along all the time. Even though sometimes they do, sometimes they don't. Yep. As we see, and the main six, I guess, kind of a stepping stone for a. Uh, running the country <laughs> yeah of sorts because that was one of the things you brought up in the first episode was like uh, the season was like hey now let's listen um <laughs> uh, hey <laughs> you can't just throw this, this them in the deep end like this and expect it to go all to go well ease them in like with this them like, let them do it for a little bit give give them partial power and partial responsibility and, yeah, and see how it works 
Yeah. So. Get them used to it. Let them learn these lessons when it's not a huge deal. <laughs> Rather than when it is a huge deal and all, everything's on fire. Like I said, it's a, it's a really fun one because, well, you got main six on one half of it and the other half is the royal sisters and they're doing their things. And yeah, we get more Celestia focus, which again, it took them way too long to really actually pay any attention to Celestia. Yeah. <laughs> it's only in like the last three seasons we've gotten anything for her. Yeah, it's it, it's nice because of that. Yeah, it it was a pretty enjoyable episode. Uh, there was a few points in it that I was less than enthused with, but overall, it was definitely an enjoyable episode. Like you were saying, we've always wanted more more of the royal sisters to see more about them, and we we did get some Luna, and but we're finally getting more Celestia as well. This is kind of both at the same time again. <laughs> But still, it's it's a bit more than we normally get. Last time we had like a, a Celestial Luna thing. It, it was a little, unfortunately a little similar in vain. It's one with the starlight. Yeah. They were, so I had to resolve the issue between the two. Well, yeah, I don't think you're ever going to resolve sibling issues like yeah. that. I think we both so, know that. <laughs> there's a little bit, not a huge amount of retreading, but a little bit of, of similarity on that. But enough different to definitely consider it a separate story and episode. Couple of points that I, I wasn't a, a hugely enthralled on were like you think for two two people that have been around for as long as they are and have done the things that they are, they wouldn't be quite as naive about the world as they were in the very beginning of the episode, kind of button butting their way in and it's like it's a bit too much. Yeah. Um the other one that was a little bit of a, a point is like Twilight once again realizing that she doesn't have to do this on her own. Well, that one's a little weird in that, I don't know, it's a, I feel that one's a little weird. It's like almost feels like um kind of a mixed message, not in the, the episode itself, but from the actual sisters to Twilight in the sense that, okay, you got to take care of this. Didn't bother to say, oh, we delegate. They'll oh, just hand it off to the, the, the committee. Just, you got to get, get this done. Yeah, but I mean, and, there's still, I, would, I would think there's still a little bit of common sense. I don't know. I mean, to degree, there's a committee like, for it that exists. Are, <laughs> but then again, well, we've seen past experiences. The nobles can uh, have less than great intentions, and there would probably right. be mistrust there if three nobles just come in and say, two of which, by the way, have kind of, you know, messed with you a bit before. Yeah. Specifically, you kind of, you'd be kind of immediately like, I would be distrustful. The noble just pops up and says, okay, we're going to do a thing now. I'm like, why? <laughs> a bit, but... <laughs> why? I would also think there would be a little bit more information available about these things. And we've also seen this, well, we've seen before, the sisters are not particularly good at relaying information sometimes. Yes, but Twilight's very good at finding information. Yeah. Which, well, Why didn't she do more research on... If you well, do yeah, her own I've seen it before. She collection. has a blind spot when it comes to Celestia. So if Celestia tells you this is a thing, okay, She no longer looks thing. into it, yeah. But she but again, also, it seems like Spike was the one relaying the information from the letter. Right, but that's all they looked at was the one letter. It's like, yeah. you wouldn't think, like, this is kind of confusing. Let's go figure out what else, well, what other information for. This is. is what you got to do to do the, the ceremony. <sighs> this is what you got to do. Okay, we'll do it. Not, you know, it doesn't mention, oh, by the way, there's a committee that, if it, it's like, if you had that on there, if all that had to say on the letter was, oh, by the way, there will be a committee to help you out with this. Yes, yeah, there's things that could have been done better, but. I still think there would have been more information and other sources that could have been looked at. <laughs> Maybe, but who knows? It's a weird party for swans. <laughs> who knows how that works? Oh, the the big beginning. Um, eh, I don't really see it as naive per se. It's just they're bored and they want to help. It's like, well, we've been with the whole fandom, and what you should possibly assume at some point, as we saw with Rainbow Dash saying it, you'd think, okay. Okay, all these two times we wanted them to help. Now they choose to help us with this. Yeah, it's like, and they was... know that there's kind of a thing, possibly a bit of a PR thing of like they never do anything. <laughs> it's just how they how they act, how they just kind of jump in, and I don't yeah. know. It just seems a bit childish. I don't know. Their, their actions seem a bit more childish. I wouldn't and... say it's, I do not see it as childish at all. Just to see it as two bored ponies who are just like, know. okay, we're gonna help now. You know what? You're right. We're gonna help. As the whole thing was clearly supposed to invoke I know it was intended to be exaggerated, but... It also very much invokes superheroes, which, you know, comic writer is obviously intended to Yeah. But it was just kind of funny. I, I swear, I'm not sure if I'm, this is true. I swear, though, that the 
the way they're animated during that opening bit, they really emphasize like Celestia and Luna's chins. So I'm yeah. like wondering, <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah, it's like that was I, that was I was that was I was I was going to do that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they ninety six do ninety percent of the work, it, and they get all the credit. And of course, the girls just get all the credit. Yep, because they're the last ones to do anything. I did find it funny. I yeah, just overreacting. Like, oh no, a piece of the bridge fell off, and I was like, oh no, oh no, <laughs> what happens? <laughs> Replace the whole the bridge. Whole bridge. Well, I mean, if the bridge is falling apart, it may yeah, be a sign of overall structural failure within the entire. I know, bridge, just so. really funny. Just whoop, <laughs> just. <laughs> Swoops in and replaces the, the whole thing. The was, was Applejack was really like the gra- thing with Granny Smith. There wasn't even any traffic. <laughs> Just overreacting a little bit. So now it's like, okay, they're getting annoying. Yeah. Dash, you should know how that goes. There was a whole episode about that. Yeah. Meridu well. The whole Meridu well thing. Oh, no, not this. That, <laughs> again, with helping Granny Smith cross the road. That was part of it, too. Yeah, but with, uh, I don't know. It's a little bit different. Went a little bit differently, though. Supposedly, who's who? Knows, Granny, we didn't see it, so it's probably possible. Granny says very much. Also, was throwing a big fit about yeah. it. Let go of me. I'm fine. <laughs> she says she doesn't care if they're princesses or not. <laughs> yeah, I think of all the people, Granny Smith would probably not. She's care old. That who much. cares now? <laughs> it's like, what yeah, are they gonna those, do? Yeah, that was another thing about the whole episode when the, the sisters on their vacations, all the time, ponies taking pictures of them. Yep. The, Holy crap, it's princesses. We're just two regular ponies. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you can never be regular ponies. Unless you disguise yourselves. <laughs> yes, that would be the only way. Which that's most what fanfics do. Not this one. Nope. They're just gonna go on vacation as we are, except no regalia, which is a new thing. They've never been without the regalia ever. Give that one time Celestia lost her crown when she got zapped by Chrysalis. Yeah. I remember there was that, what was it? Um, season four finale where he had Celestia was in bed with her full recalia. Yeah. It's like. <laughs> yeah. It's just what? part of the model. We can't get rid of it. And they finally got rid of it. Uh, you had Luna putting on the Hawaiian shirt and everything. <laughs> also, Luna was amazing just because her, just all the faces and stuff, all the prancing about because she was so excited to go on vacation or see the post office work. <laughs> and just how she asked for a stamp. Was, yeah. <laughs> the face is just, and it's just Celestia's in the background. Are you serious? Luna just likes to know the more mundane things. Yeah, Celestia, to, Luna, like, take Luna, a well, break. For, her, for her, the post office is a new idea still. Yeah. It's like, how does it work? How does it work? The process. Of so, this, so. Okay, I know how it works. I need to see it in action now. <laughs> yeah. Interesting. That's a huge thing. That is a huge... <laughs> knowing how something works. Yeah. Seeing it. It's so cool. Yeah, also like they're in the art gallery thing and Celestia falls asleep and of course that one point yes. big old smile takes a <laughs> selfie. Take <laughs> take the advantages where you got them. Yeah. Don't let opportunity slip by. Because, yeah, we see that Celestia is an adrenaline junkie and stuff. She wants the thrill, and Luna just wants to take it easy, yep. see the world. That's because Celestia spends most of her days listening to nobles banter at her. Yep. <laughs> Where Luna spends Having her meetings nights. and decrees and decrees about the meetings and meetings about the decrees. And <laughs> yep. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> Luna spends her time battling nightmares all the yep. time, so she sees plety of adventure. Yeah. Out of this world adventure. Yeah, it's pretty fun. I wasn't thinking of, uh, right. And uh, they're kind of, of course, having the fight and everything. Because, yeah, they don't, I'm surprised they don't want to do the same things. And they're uh, yep. going their separate ways. And then, oh, wait, I miss my sister. Oh, no. Oh, no. And, yeah, Luna getting sunburned. That's a thing. <laughs> you should put it on sunblock. Well, that's a thing. That's a thing. <laughs> when you spend so long on the moon. <laughs> In night. Yeah, and, and always night, awake night at night. <laughs> You're always awake at night. Why would you have Why would she need sunblock? deal with sunblock? <laughs> I like that, though. And she flips over, and her entire back is burnt. And yeah. there's just, oh, jeez, and just dumps the whole ball. Yeah. <laughs> Blurp. Yeah. Uh, that was great. A lot of, lot of great little scenes here and mm-hmm. there. Yeah, I was thinking that Celestia and Twilight Velvet would, in fact, get to get along really well. They both would love going off that waterfall in the barrels and whatnot. <laughs> yeah. I wonder if they have gone and done... Celestia and Twilight's mom. I've seen them ship together, too. Oh. <laughs> yeah. 
Actually, whole doesn't. new meaning of mom lestia. Oh no, <laughs> not this. <laughs> Yeah, you know, that's the main six side of things, and they're just trying to get this whole thing done by themselves, and just Fancy Pants just watching it, and just kind of actually weirdly enough being a jerk. Yeah, because Fancy Pants was always the nicer one. Yeah, then I guess not. Guess not anymore. <laughs> I just thought it was rude. He's like rude. First of all, rude. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and then oh, the big turtle thing. That was the new. big turtle thing. Let's talk yeah. about the elephant in the room. I mean turtle. God, that someone someone watched it. Avatar. <laughs> well, that's a little different. But yeah, it's, it, it's it was not quite that big of a turtle. Else, that was a turtle lion. No, that was a big turtle thing. Yeah, in in the Avatar, the turtle lion. Yeah, the turtle lion. Yeah, close. It was very very close similar. Enough. It was, you know, a giant turtle like thing with. But a, it's not all mystical forest. and giving them magic powers. Them magical <laughs> powers. They already had magical powers. Some of them. Speaking of magical powers, we haven't mentioned the MacGuffin that never came up. <laughs> well, yeah, it's the goober it was, wasn't much of a it wasn't really much of a, a thing. Like, oh, it's gonna be no not really, really yeah really that was gonna be a thing especially when pinky men- that's mentioned. not a terrifying level of responsibility <laughs> yeah ah uh, lamp shading is great yeah uh yeah because yeah, there's this, this a weird amulet that's supposed to make it so twilight can easily do the sun and moon thing which is that is mm, the whole other question there but yeah Moving know. the sun and the moon. <laughs> yeah, it's 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 a weird thing. Apparently, it makes it work. All Twilight has to do is pour magic into it, I guess. But something went wrong. <laughs> something went wrong. I don't know. Maybe Again. they made it, it. It you know they put like Celestia said they put a bit of their magic in. So they probably you know created a, an enchanted item, which we've seen. What if it'd be funny if Luna magic, Luna and Celestia's magic kind of interfered with each other. <laughs> That's they why just it didn't failed. make it right. <laughs> yeah. Like I said, it needs to be recalibrated. Those instructions yeah. to recalibrate just it and then to a twist. <laughs> And not that Only, uh, much. <laughs> uh, all I, all Spike had to say was just give it a quarter twi- turn instead of give it a, just twist it. He was getting there. <laughs> That's why you <laughs> always relay just... the instructions a very specific way because people will always just start doing them before getting the whole thing. Yeah. <laughs> I, was, I saw Rockwell's Modern Life ones. It's like, make sure, do this, but not until you make sure to, of course, I've already having done said thing, and now it's all broken. <laughs> Further. Yes, that's why you're supposed to read the instructions before you start. Read through the whole list and then start. The problem is there was no instructions; it was just verbal. Yeah, well, I, well, t- Spike was re- reading off of a list. So you should not that wait one. No, for that, them. Not, not the end. He was not reading off a list for the the I Thought he was. Thing. Nope. He was oh. relaying information from someone else. Yeah, well, you wait for the whole thing to be relayed. <laughs> Sound like he was done. He yeah, he stopped talking. I know. So it's Spike's fault again. <laughs> And Twilight, of course, being manic because it's going wrong. I supposed to be able to handle this. Yeah, yeah. That's, that is one thing that is time. That is definitely something to panic about when the sun and moon are freaking out in the sky. That is definitely time to panic. Time to panic. Oh no! <laughs> Everyone can see my screw up. <laughs> yeah, that was also nice. Celestia and Luna's little uh, moment right before that with the moon Aww. set and sunrise. Where have we seen that before? Yeah. When everything was going really badly for you, that's when. <laughs> You are tied up by a, moon, by a vine. Moon and sun together, that's weird. Show off each other's butts. <laughs> <laughs> butts. Uh, hey, of course, I love, yeah, the song was great. I, oh, I the song was song. great. It was a fun song. Um, very nice and bouncy song. Um, yep. And, of course, you're seeing it kind of getting worse and worse. And then the reprise. The rip, rip. Yeah, when they first kind of bumped into each other again, when... Uh, after their separation, it was kind of the awkward. Oh, hey! And, and just, no, uh, yes, everything was fine. I was fine was without crazy. you. I, I, wasn't, I wasn't. I wasn't missing you or anything. No, yeah, that's that's crazy. I'm, I'm going. If you want to walk with me, that, that if you uh, you can, if if you want to. If you I want mean, to. If, 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 since we're going to the same place, I guess we should. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Mm-hmm. And finally, apologizing and everything. Also, they had the hairs and uh, hair and ponytails. Yep. Ponies with ponytails. How about that? Ponies with ponytails. And ponytails. Put their tails in a Wait. weird fun thing. <laughs> yes. Oh, Luna getting all all dressed up with the the face paint and, like oh, yeah. the '80s style. That and was then that was Celestia crazy. and the the they did it. They they, 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 they referenced they, the toy. They referenced the toy. The Gothic was, Celestia. Yep. That was they great. did it. They found a way to bring it in. They, <laughs> they took them like what five years to do it, <laughs> but they uh, did it. They did it. 
<laughs> much to Celestia's it. displeasure, but they did it. <laughs> Celestia was not thrilled. Ah. Uh, Boy, could you imagine actual gothic Celestia? Uh, Boy, that is a paradox. That is. She's, she's all sunshine. Black hole sun. <laughs> Black hole sun. <laughs> yep. Yep. <laughs> ah, bring some. Was that Soundgarden or Audio Slave? I think it was Soundgarden. I think it was, yeah, it was Soundgarden. Rip. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, now, of course, the swans are swans. Swans, which... swans are mean. Mm-hmm. Don't make them upset. I don't know why they're throwing them apart. It's like, it's, why, why are we throwing them apart? Just, just do it. Probably because if they don't, the swans will get pissed. And well, there's one the way to person. take care of that problem. <laughs> Fluttershy, of course. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but swans are mean. No one wants to deal with the swans. Just Fluttershy make them, would. just placate them. Fluttershy would. Yeah, Fluttershy could probably handle it, but. Even if it's also had to use the stairs. Also, remember what happened last time Fluttershy tried to get up, get, get along with Candlelot animals. Yeah, <laughs> that didn't go now well. Now Fluttershy's more assertive. Yes. <laughs> Probably less prone to going crazy. Yeah. <laughs> uh, it was a good episode. Yeah, it was fun. Also weird that I was having the turtle eat the garbage. Yeah. I'm not sure. How, I guess the turtle will eat the garbage. I guess the turtle will eat the garbage. The turtle also is willing to eat the dragons, apparently, too. <laughs> yeah. Oh, well. Yep. And nothing of value. <laughs> oh, don't do that. Don't be like that. <sighs> it's, too, it's too much fun, though. Uh, yeah, it, 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 I think it was a really fun episode and kind of a nice way to end the first half of the season. It was, um, yeah, it was a really nice one. It was, I think Gail Simone did a really good job with this one. And, uh, yeah, she actually did a pretty good job with the characters, all things. You know, she's... Not written for the show. Yeah, ever. For, for never having written for the show, she, she did, did pretty darn she good. She did her research, I guess. Good job. She kudos. She really did a good one. It's a, it's a lot better than a lot of uh, freshman efforts when it comes to these <laughs> new writers. Yeah. So yeah, probably we'll never see her writing for this show again. I mean, there's only half a season left, and <laughs> but still, it's nice to see her actually. Maybe she'll work for she's right in season G five or something. <laughs> I don't know. Anyway, yeah, it was a fun episode. So um. Guess we'll have to go ahead and move on. We have, well, a little bit of stuff left to do, with particularly fan content. And then we'll go ahead and start off with music. So, I have got three songs this week that I want to feature. The first one is Hey T and Age of Vitals' Downpour. I just love this song. It it's so smooth. It's liquid drum and bass. So some of the details are a little bit harder to talk about, but yeah, it it's got this smooth and deepness to it. It's it's just so good. And unlike some drum and bass, it does change things up. It's not the same thing all the way through. I I, I like what what they did with it, where it goes, how it flows, all of it. It's just really really good it's one of those i can't help but just slowly sway with the flow of the music it's it's just so good right yeah it's it's dnb all right <laughs> I mean, it's liquid dnb oh yeah D- liquid dnb yeah. which means it has those low the the really low long basses and stuff yeah so i do like the the crystal like backing for a large chunks of it that's uh, pretty nice. But yeah, it's D&B. So if you know what D&B is, you kind of know whether or not you'll like it. <laughs> <laughs> it's good. I like it. Next up, probably needs absolutely no introduction. Kinda it's Eurobeat so. Bronies cover of You're In My Head Like a Catchy Song.
Eurobeat Brony, the new Pony track. I love it. I think it works really well. It's a really good remix. The vocals are re-recorded. Got Jessa to do new vocals and mm. made it fit a lot better. So you're not trying to 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 you know mash things in, right? Which a lot of remixes are like, okay, I have to work with what was in the show, which means you get background noises. And this one, it is re-recorded, so he has a little bit of his vocals in there. Jessa did the rest of the vocals. So it's technically a cover. Uh, well, like I said, it is a cover. It's also yeah. It's but it's also it's a cover. But it's also a remix because it's a completely different style as well because it's all Eurobeat style. But yeah, I like it. Yeah, I know also the vocals have a bit of a heavy filtering on them throughout as well. Probably yeah. not blended in with the music. Uh, I also noticed, uh, let's see, the MP3 tag is, is tagged as In My Head like a catchy song, but the YouTube video is You're In My Head like a catchy song. You mentioned that, and right here in the description of the YouTube video it says, and yes, I do have it listed as In My Head versus You're In My Head just about everywhere because I'm a doofus and the title is really, really long. Sorry. So Eurobeat already caught that one. Okay. <laughs> it's fine. I don't know. I was just like, I don't know. I didn't just, I wasn't feeling it. Yeah. I don't know what it was. It's just, I, eh. I honestly kind of felt samey. Uh, I know that sounds bad, but it just kind of felt like, yeah, it's, it's Eurobeat. It just, yeah, just that, that's, not much to I get, it. I guess that can sometimes be a thing with Eurobeat. And I think we've mentioned this years ago, the last time I featured some Eurobeat. <laughs> that, that sometimes it, it can sound the same as other ones. So it's, it's really individual specific. It can be. But I liked it. And the last one, something a little different. This is Viricide Phillies, Seconds into Centuries, I Let My Hair Grow. And yeah, like I said, this is different. This is one of the tracks off the newly released Noise Horse Experimental album. So it's all experimental type music. So you get some really weird stuff. Mm -hmm. This one I really like, just somewhat similar to the the first one I featured here. It's got this deepness to it, but it's definitely not D&B. It's different. Uh, It's hard to describe, which I guess is part of the course for (laughs) experimental music. But I, I do really like it, and especially that this driving beat that it has through most of the songs along with all this kind of harshest electronics type sounds. It kind of makes me, and personally, the image I get in my head is sort of like a, um, a rainy cyberpunk alleyway. Yeah. That is sort of the idea that I get with it. I, I really like it. Yeah. This one has a really nice intro, so I really like the intro on, on this one. Uh, yeah, overall, very dark vibe to it i feel and this is the word i would I would, i've used this before but it's a it's a coiled spring it's very subdued but it feels like it could unleash at any moment even though it doesn't really do that it feels like it could though yeah the, there's like this tension waiting to yeah. release yeah you were talking about you know cyberpunk alley it's like yeah i get that one i, I was kind of feeling like more like a like a destroyed factory just dystopian type yeah thing. Like it, a, that's, that's like a factory that used dystopian. to make robots or something it's come all mangled and destroyed and stuff and yeah, yeah. and the robots because there's that electronic yeah. feel to it that, that gives it that sort of futuristic or ruined yeah. future no, 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 almost yeah it comes at times but this kind of feels almost industrial yeah. It's, it, yeah. Experimental, though. It's like, let's throw things at the wall and see what sticks. Now, I mean, literally, throw things at the wall might make a nice sound. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> that's. So, yeah, if that's your thing, if you want more experimental stuff, check out the Noise Horse albums. That's noise.horse. Go search that. They have a band camp. But yeah, and this is one of their. It's the most recent album that they've dropped. It's a big compilation thing. It's a mixed bag. Yeah, experimental. <laughs> it's it's not like not all, all experiments are successful. <laughs> yeah. Well, it's also like every song is going to be very different. Mm-hmm. It's not like because a bunch of songs on the album, but they all don't sound like this. Yeah. <laughs> you you can't compare this to every other song. They're they're very different. It's a grab bag is a better word I should say. Yeah. So yeah, that's that's the music I got for this week. Right. 
So we'll go ahead and uh, move on to fiction stuff, which nothing new again. It's just it's just been dry lately. I, just, I don't know. It's just I'm having a hard time finding anything really good. But uh, a couple things did update. Uh, the worst of all possible worlds got its three final chapters. Yep. Over this last week, the end of the fic is here. We got the final world, the 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 barren wasteland we saw it way back in the season five finale, which turned out it is as I was starting to suspect. It's the one where Sunset won. Yep. Because she discovers herself and whatnot. And yeah, kind of Sunset kind of gets to, I guess, really learn about herself for real. Yes. And a whole bunch of stuff happens there in that regard. And, uh, yep. It's quite the resolution. It's, an, it's a resolution that doesn't really have a whole lot of action. It's mostly uh, talking. Yeah. But it's very it's kind of like... <laughs> It's Evangelion. Lots of talking. <laughs> Congratulations. Did you know they changed that too? They changed that too? Yeah. Uh. It's like, what's the point then? What is the point? That's like the reason. So yeah, it's a lot of talking and whatnot. And there's, although there's a weird thing of like, there's a sequel hook. So I don't know what's going on with that. Yeah. I'm not sure if he, they're, they're planning on doing more or what, but there's a sequel hook of sorts, so I'm, I'm interested to see how that goes. If there's anything more, I'll just say, I'm not doing anything else. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Well, I'll see that. And uh, the other thing that updated was the Enchanted Kingdom with a new chapter. Finally! <laughs> yeah, it's been a bit. It's been a bit. I don't think it's been that long, but it's been a bit. I have to check on that real quick. But yeah, uh, this was, let's see, Twilight still dreamwalking and uh, Twilight um, Rarity also dealing with their respective uh, traumas regarding the the, the library the library that the Twilight was trapped in. It's Okay, it's been two months. Yeah, it's been two months. A little over two months. So yeah, it that's not that long, <laughs> <laughs> considering <laughs> that's how much we had to wait before that. But yeah, it's a great Rarity and tar- Twilight time dealing with their traumas regarding the library and whatnot. Yep. And uh, yeah, just I guess furthering the plot a little bit further as well. Yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> so yeah, it's uh, more stuff going on. Yep, yep, yep. So uh, yep, go check those out. Check the music out. Because we are done with this episode. For this episode. Yeah, we're done for this week. If you enjoyed what you heard, you can l- listen to past and future episodes. You can go to pony411.lipsyn.com. It's spelled L-I-B-S-Y-N-N again. You know, check there. See the links I'm about to describe to you. You can also find us at youtube.com slash pony411. Like, comment, subscribe there. Notification bell. All that stuff on there. You can find us on uh, Stitcher. Uh, Stitcher.com or the uh, two mobile apps they have. Search for Pony411. You can find us at Google Play or iTunes. Any of the, either of those. Search for Pony411. Google Play is play.google.com slash music. If you want to subscribe to us on those things if you want. You're also on uh, Ponyville Live, PonyvilleLive.com, or, you know, so you can see all the, uh, us there, along with a bunch of other podcast stuff, as well as the radio stations, including Ponyville FM, where we air every Tuesday at 6 p.m. Pacific, 9 p.m. Eastern. Check us out there, and check out, you know, live DJs and music at various other times of the day and week, as you want. If you don't, okay, fine, I guess, but I you're guess. missing out. <laughs> You can also contact us if you want. You could do so via email, pony411podcast at gmail.com. Questions, comments, criticisms. What do you think of the Gail Simone written episode we just had? You know, did you like it? Did you like uh, Looney and Celestia trying to be superheroes and not really doing a very good job of it? Did you like <laughs> the sisterly squabbles or not? Or do you think it's getting overplayed now? What? I don't know. I don't know what you think. I don't know what you think. I'm not I'm like, I'm not like Sunset. <laughs> Uh, wish I could be though. <laughs> <laughs> I say, I'm pretty sure you wish you want. You could but be. uh yeah, that's it. With that one. Yeah. You can also contact us via Facebook, Facebook.com slash pony phone one. Like us there, see new things. Hopefully by the time you hear this I'll have those pictures up from Everfree. I kind of things got got waylaid because well other things happen. Yes. <laughs> Including like, hey, computer shuts down. Hey. It makes it difficult to like I, because you're like you're more think about getting the computer working yeah. than, or replacing it than oh these pictures these pictures can Sorry wait off. <laughs> uh, but there's also a uh, Twitter at Pony411 if you want to contact us there or whatever uh, see things we occasionally tweet not as often we probably should but we do you can also follow personal Twitters I'm at Nemesis Prime One he's at Alcatraz with underscore this end and seven seven a T yep yep he tweeted about his birthday yep have, have you tweeted about your new Nendo yet? 
I, I was about to, and I forgot to take a picture of it all put up. It's, it's <laughs> yeah, I have a picture Are of it in comf? the box. I am very comf. You, did yes. you, you can wear your scarf while you play with it? <laughs> Actually, no, it was still hanging up. I, I had a whole bunch of stuff I was dealing with, uh, sorting through while I was setting that up. Yeah. I'm a bit dreaming about, I think an apology for like, hey, yeah, uh, things kind of went out of my control for a bit. Yeah, I haven't really been tweeting a whole lot. <laughs> yeah, I never usually tweet Things that have much. been a little crazy for me. I've been dealing with stuff. Stuff. Yeah, lots of stuff over the last few weeks have been kind of, yeah. Anyway, that's it for this episode. Uh, tune in next week. We'll be talking about the Rainbow Road Trip special. And hopefully if it comes in, maybe the manga thing. I don't know. I don't know when that's coming. It may not even be for another month. Yeah, but, uh, who knows? We'll talk about when it shows up. Yeah, whenever it does. But until then, though, please, pony responsibly. See ya.